In this video, we're going to have a look at how to work with page numbers using Adobe InDesign. We're going to look at where you find them, how to use them, and what they really are. So stick around. Today we're looking at page numbers. Okay, you'll find them in the type menu. You go down here to insert special character, and then down to markers. Here's where you'll find your current page number marker, which is the one that you typically want if you're trying to put a number on a page. Current page number. As you can see, at the moment it's grayed out. I can't actually just click that and have it insert page numbers into my document. So why is this? Uh, it's because it's a special character. Um, yeah, any of these character options that you pick from here, they basically just go into your normal text flow. So it is possible that you could have a full block of a paragraph of text, for example. You could actually put the current page number in the middle of that if you wanted to. To create a page number, you'd just put in an empty text box. So actually, let's make this a bit easier to see. Here's our text box. We play, put the cursor in it. Go back over to our insert special character, and now we have the option to insert the current page number. Um, the beauty and the curse of this is that it is literally just a regular text frame in InDesign, so anything, any effect that you want to run, any formatting that you want for your text, you can have in your page numbers. So. This is good because it means that you can use normal paragraph and character styles to format it. You can make it match the rest of your document. So we can go in here and, for example, I can change it to a different font. And just to make it a bit easier to see, I'm going to make it really big and really heavy. Okay, so this just looks like a normal text frame with a number in the middle of it. If you take this frame and duplicate it across to another page, you'll find that the content will update based on whatever page it's on. Likewise, you can also drag these across to multiple pages like this, and they'll update. So that's about as complicated as it gets. If you just need to put a number on a page, then the current page number marker is the one that you need. Now, what happens if I want to add more pages to my document? Um, I can, for example, go here, click on a random page, add a bunch of extra pages in, and what you'll see is that the pages that were pushed to the end are now numbered appropriately. Okay, what happens when you add your new pages though, as you can see, you don't actually get any numbers on them. So how do we address this? Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's just grab our page number from here. I'm just gonna copy that, and I'm just gonna paste it on my master page. Now, when you put it on the master page, that doesn't actually have a page number, so you just get a placeholder character, but that's fine. So I can duplicate that over there. And now if I go back to my document, you'll see that I've got additional numbers there. So I'll get rid of my original frames that I already had. And as you can see now, because I've placed that marker onto my master page, wherever that master page is used, it's going to show the current page number. So it's as simple as that, really. If you want to do styling for it, it's pretty easy to do. You just go back in your master page. Let's say, for example, I want to just have my page number down in the bottom corner of my document. You just move the frame down there, you just make it whatever size, whatever style you want it to be. In the case of this, I'll just put it back down on the baseline. Don't need to redo the same work again. Just move it over here, just right align that. Now when I go back to my regular page, I'll have my page number in the bottom corner. I can apply whatever styling I want to have on this and I can update it throughout my document. Okay, so because our page numbers are just text, you can style them, you can format them using any of the standard tools in the program that you would use for modifying text. What's useful about this is that you could, for example, pick a color for your page numbers that you want to have unique to them. All of InDesign swatches are global, so I can just pick a color. I can even name it. So I've got my page number color labeled in there. And because it's on my master page, it'll show up throughout the document as such. So if I want to change that color, I don't have to go and change every single instance of this. All I need to do is just go and change the color itself. OK, 
Okay, so nothing very exciting there, but it's, yeah, that's how it works. That's the standard feature. So because this is just a regular text frame with a special character in it, you can put any other text you want in there. You could have an entire paragraph. Um, an easy thing to do would be to just put in the word page, for example. And now when I go back to my normal document, I'll have, you know, that word plus the number. So yeah, it's basic, it's boring, it's conventional, but it's a commonplace thing that you need to use all the time. If you understand that the page number character is just a placeholder that works the same as any other text in the program, and realize that you can format it using all the standard text controls in InDesign, then you'll be able to have a bit of fun with it. Hope that was useful.